punch, but don't do that to your friends. <laughs> you can get arm guards and and bits and do this actually hitting, but even through those, Kyle will show you bruises. Okay. So essentially, we're taking this arm and we're rotating around it, right? And for practice, because we're friends and we like each other, we're using open palm. For real, palm that comes hard. And that center knuckle comes and I sink it. That whip comes, everything comes. Obviously, we're not going to do that to each other. For practice, you can get the, like the scream of arm guards and some gloves and hit with it. Kyle will test that you still get bruises from it. <laughs> so for practice, Chris is simply going to feed me from here. We're going to reset. Chris is going to feed me again. We're going to go to the inside. Uh, inside. We're going to reset. Go to the inside. So this comes boom, here. Comes again. Here. That's it. Practice. Good. Jeff, why don't you uh, explain starting on the lateral line versus the diagonal, right? Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, so, so we start this usually on this, on this lateral line. So and that's okay at first, right? So we start here, here, here. You can see I'm a little far out. What it becomes is more here, where I'm kind of on a more of a 30 degree, and that's because that's where I'm actually going to be able to, to fight this gentleman and do all everything I have to do. So again, we start, you guys can start here on the lateral. It works in the lateral. It works better on the back. Thank you. Do that for a couple minutes, guys, and then we'll do some applications. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to use two stances, and you're going to see how you fight. So the next stance that we worked, right, we had this guy, we worked this. Our turn. It's just a turn. It's innocuous. It's inside. It's our turn, right? So we'll use these two stances to punch the cow. Careful. So that punch comes. That's my first step. This can come in now, which I would do that. Here. My second step is in here. you got to seize the point. I'm now with the stance here. slide is going to be hard. I can go under one option, or I can just make them smaller. Thank you. Hey guys, real quick, if you don't mind. Uh, okay, guys, real quick, if you don't mind. Okay, so if you hit me, okay, I have my position here. If you look at me, 
If I start him, he's facing his shoulder. Yep. That means he has to cross his center to hit me, right? I can interrupt that because this guy's on here. Don't let this hand go on occasion. Once you start to enter, right? And boom, I'm here. Now this slides in. So if you look, that's my triangle point right there. And I just step to it. And I've got my position. Right? It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So make sure this is here. If he keeps coming, I still have some I can use. All right? So here, boom. Shoulder first. If he's bigger than me, yes, I can break the leg. I can also just hit and come right up. And we're down. Okay? So, shoulder, the hallway hit. Good stance work. Yeah, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Chang City. <laughs> so, snipe. I always hit because I don't see it. Remember, this hand does not go on vacation. This is still dangerous, right? If I really snipe, that's going that way. Truth be told, if I keep this here, there's my hit. Now, my step, I have to have my lever forward position down low, but not up high. And that gives my spine time to <laughs> release. And it creates a wave. <laughs> <Good. laughs> that disrupts, unbalances, yeah. and basically uh, gives them a carnival ride. <laughs> and then the real application, come visit us. Yes. Uh, so I'm here. Yeah. 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 So I'm
Did you play that one? Here. Not that I could find. Justin and Kyle are coming to me as hard as I'm coming at them, so it's 
teaching me to take that hip and sink into it and be able to fight with it. Very good. Would, would you do just that part with Justin uh, three more times? Yes, sir. He's just starting to get it. Which part? The, 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 the oh, yeah. colliding. Yeah, so the colliding. You can get into it. We like the outside. Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Do the last one. Again. Good. Again. Again. Excellent. I mean, you know, sometimes do a shoulder shift. What I want to work on is I want to get it. Is that one too whippy? I would love. Yeah, it's a little bit whippy. Yeah, it's a little bit whippy. Yeah, it's a little bit whippy. Thank you, that's what I wanted. You want, you want to give it a shot, Justin? Uh, I need to see it from the outside before. So, this steps in, can you set that up? Let me have someone else, okay? Come here, Kyle. Come here, brother. Okay, I don't care, hit me right, right? I'm going to keep my entry here, right? This, kicks it out, step it out. Step, step away. Boom! I take another one. But if you look, my strides and everything are all right here. And oh, look, he might be able to get my back. He might shoot at me. Ha! No, he won't. All right? And look, it's all lined up. <laughs> so people wonder, you know, why we do all this crazy kind of stuff. That's because he might be right here. Oh, isn't that fun? Yes. And look again, it's all lined up. It's a beautiful thing. 
ground fighting while standing up. <laughs> so one more time. I can do that. Move it out of the way. I take that. Notice, as soon as I collide into this, everything is right in line. And if you look, it's one of our basic entries too. Okay? Yeah, fine. Alright. Thank you, Joe. So monkey foot. Uh, the first the uh, so monkey foot is a way of sticking with your opponent as he attacks you, your attack is late, and you don't let him go. People are gonna retreat. Um, it's, it's more than just capturing people who are retreating, it's working late positions, working different uh, attacks and uh, things you can do from those leg positions, learning how to compress the legs, learning how to follow, learning how to stick, tons of things going on in the monkey foot. The first real basic one that we do is Kyle feeds me, he simply parry here's the outside, and come here. My first position is this inside position. Now Kyle is like that, so Kyle's going to step back. Hit me again, my shield comes up or a parry, whatever you want really. I, I like the shield because in this situation, all I have to do is leave it here. I don't know why I'm hiding, I'm slow. Here. You're also working shin conditions. Kyle can test. That hurts. And the shins get tougher and tougher. So first monkey foot. Very simple. Here. Here. Or you can step. Step. Steps back. I'm trying to figure out again. Steps back again. Steps back again. Okay, go guys. Work the first one. So, um, what are we doing here, right? There's a lot of applications that can come up for the first monkey foot. The first real basic one is, is a simple stop -tool. And you're, going to, you're working your triangle, but you're using this foot position to do it. So Kyle hits me, I'm here, I come in, I crash, I turn Kyle, and I hit him here, and now I have this triangle point right here. So here's the application. Stop his head here. To block that out. So very simple. You gotta break his base. So if Kyle's standing here strong, that's yeah, not good. I wanna break his base with him, and turn him, and keep hitting him here, but his legs here. And then I'm gonna break that. And that is our, our dragon stance. It comes down ballistic for now on that knee. I want that knee go. Then I want this go. Here. That's a little bit of So first one, very simple. Here. It's going to come in if I crash in here. Turn, hold. Try. Let me ask a really good question of Chris. Yeah, uh, Chris. <laughs> Chris, sorry. Let me ask a good question of, you know, what are we doing with the, with the hand work when we come in? So um, that clutch is coming. I may be ready for it, I may not be ready for it, I may be on a good line. But I'm not only parrying it here and getting offline, but I'm also backing it up here. Because I'm not just going to rely on this. This may catch it, it may not catch it, it may be strong, this reinforces it, this can also be a hit too. I'm also kind of relying on my angulation, so I'm not, I'm doing it subtle, so it's kind of hard for you guys to see, but I'm not just standing here, I'm actually doing that, because I don't want to fight the box. So when that comes, here, takes them off immediately. Bam, that comes in. So the parry, the parry is one, this is your first defense, Second defense, and even your body is your defense as you turn and position yourself to enter a long foot. The triangle. <coughs> so we have tape or something I can put on the floor to yes. make a triangle. Go. So uh, if we're looking at that sweep from monkey foot and overlaying our triangle theory on top of it, if you look at what's really happening, Kyle's stepping into the triangle, oh, I'm hitting it, right? I'm doing our first turn. I actually did it the first jury because I'm turning here just a little bit to get off that line. And there it comes. It comes here. Now I'm going to step to the point of the triangle. Bam! Now I still have to break his bases and do other things. Right? Kyle's strong. I can't sleep from there, but I would do other things I did in the water. Um, I want to break his shoulders from his hips. So I'm going to use this as my lever. This is the upper arm is my lever. And your lever's going to also be hidden. But for now, his upper arm is the lever. I'm going to turn him away. See this point of this sweep right here? Just like we do our triangle? Right here. Oh. 
So using the triangle, you are using the triangle. You might not think you're using the triangle, but you're using the triangle. Because that comes here, right to the point, push them off, sweep them off. Make sense, guys? This pad gets here. Okay. So the next monkey foot, um, so our first monkey foot position was here. Well, the next monkey foot position is here. Simple. One, two. So very good. See, so Kyle's going to come and hit. So I'm going to set that. Right here. He's gonna, now, that hit's coming. And again, I got this shield up. I'm going to accept. I'm going to punch. Come here. Punch. Come here. Now, there's, there's different levels of this, right? If we, we can be relatively shallow, I can be knee height. I can be here. This has two. That's more people as well. But the basic foot position, the position that you're in, is the same. It's this. Uh, your forward leg on the outside of his leg. And you want to try and roll that so it compresses that. Right? Those are instruction. Those are all kinds of things. So one more time. Here. 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 I just did three different entries. <laughs> <laughs> Work this entry, guys. So, so, so when that comes, you're going to turn a little bit. And you're going to slide this along. I accept that and hit the walk. That comes, I accept, I hit the walk. In. Accept, I hit the walk. In. So it's just combing the hair. We do this in Satsi, we do it in a lot of different things. Accept, hit, walk in. Accept, hit, walk in. So it's going to come from here. It's the other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so the question came up about some positioning. Uh, my student guru, Stell, um, he can call him Honey Badger. About yay high, I'll beat everybody up. You don't care. Um, but he'll come in literally hip to hip on monkey feet too, right? But all we're talking about are different depths. Depths happen based on the relative size of the opponent. And what you're choosing to do. So when I'm getting fed, I could do uh, for the camera. I need to set up under this hand so the camera can see what I'm doing. I might come in and be at the ankle, right? And of course, that kind of gives me the knee. This is an ankle depth position, right? When I'm here, boom. There's all kinds of stuff that can happen. Then it could be boom, at the knee, right? That's the Mahjong position Guru Jeff was just showing, right? Then. I'm not. I'm a little long legged to be doing this one to Jeff, to Justin. But when I come in, I can literally be. This is only do this one if you if you know what you're doing because he can crank you here. I can be in a hip hip position. You alright? Yep. So when I come in, boom, I slide into the hip. And then of course, just because I'm not here doesn't mean the poopa line doesn't apply. So when I'm here, here. Uh, actually, let me have some. Sorry, let me have someone. Uh, let me have Jeff. He's going to hurt. Okay. So when I'm here, when I hit, see how this rises up, and there's my, and there's my poop line. So when I come in, I have this. All right. We get our, our toys in the play. Okay. So ankle, knee, hip, and then all the way through. Alright, so the last one is monkey butt. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Try, play. Cool, take one. <laughs> um, okay, so um, this next technique comes off of our elbow jerky and our entry, right? So we enter and we cover. And this is a way to to enter, take a line, cover, you don't have to target, you just go. And you stop the fight very quickly. So, sorry, no. So again, I want to make sure we understand where this comes from. Well, it comes from our elbow jiru on the line. You come up. So Kyle feeds me, this is going to come here, and this is going to come here. This elbow hits. The great thing about this is that I don't care where my targeting is. And in a fight, adrenaline guys coming at you, you, know, you might not be able to target. I just have to go. Those lights are 
And I got this down here guarded. If that comes low, and I got if he's coming with a low punch, because this is open, I got that, I got that, I got a lot. So for now, guys, and what it becomes is, is here, that's actually what it becomes, not gonna do it now. <laughs> you thank you. <laughs> you parry that, your, your whole spine whips into that. You hit with your whole whole being. And monkey foot, you might go away, you gotta chase it. <laughs> That's where your monkey foot comes in. Try that entry. Be very careful. Um, the receiver, Kyle, Kyle's done this a lot though. He's got his hand up. Please keep that hand up. Because this can come to the throat, the chin. Here, whichever. Sequel Jericho. So here, boom. Try it. It'll work. I see a lot of fish you off in here. Um, probably the most simple one, but the funnest one, is you know, kind of hit here, right? This is going to hit, hit, get all this juice in here. It's going to come down. I am simply going to walk my line. I'm going to walk that line there. I'm going to go into my next stand. Who's going to walk? Me falls right there. I walk. I've already hit, 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 hit. And I walk. You might walk a couple times. That's okay. We'll walk. And those are your. That's your stance. That's your basic entering stance. That's your basic control stance. Easy. The cop hits again. Comes in. I have this comes pop. This can hit. This can hit. You're all good. Try that here. Oh, that might hit. A lot of punishment that can be put in there. Um, but I'm going to simply walk a line. I'm going to walk my line that way. So when I say my line, guys, what I mean by line is there's a line from my heels to my heels to my shoulder to my triangle point. I'm walking this line. Here. Just walk. Oh, his head's there. Got the head there. That's your. Damn it, Spock, I'm a doctor. Go ahead. You gotta do it again. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. So, Kyle. So, sticking hands, Guru had a great introduction to this. Um, this is really, Kutal Sila is an infighting system, right? We fight close. We don't fight out here or here. And our true sticking hands drill enables us to listen. It's a listening hand skill work listening to what the opponent's doing. A lot of this is momentary, right? We do this as a drill, and we fight it, and we play it, and we have a good time with it. And this isn't gonna last, we're gonna come in, boom. But this is, I made connection. Now I have to feel what my opponent's doing because we're fighting close, and I don't want him to get away from me. Kyle tries to get away from me, and I keep following Kyle. Sticking hands kind of monkey. So, 
we got a steady pulse, and we want to be able to sense what our opponent's doing by feeling. And you um, have to stay relaxed, which I always joke that people say, just stay relaxed, Jeff. Damn, stay relaxed. Oh, I'm like, I can't relax your enemy. <laughs> but we have to stay relatively, relatively relaxed. Elbows in. Try not to grab at first. Initially, eventually, it'll become all these things that Guru Steve and I were doing with grabs and all other kind of stuff. Initially, though, we want to stay straight and just make circles. This is step one. Just make circles. Stay connected. Nice cool breeze. Relax. Relax. That's it. We're not going to hit because initially we don't hit. We eventually hit. Um, because we want to be relaxed. When we start hitting, the relaxation goes away. <laughs> it should, but that's part of the training, right? I'm just going to make circles. Kyle's going to follow me, or I'm going to follow, follow Kyle. This is step one sticky hands. Very simple, very gentle. It's not combative. It's just sticky. No matter what Kyle does now, we can make circles or just play. I have to stick with it. Even there, what? I've got to come down, I come up, and this way. Oh, yeah. circles. I'm just going to stick. Relax, see your structure. Breathe when you do it. Very, 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 very simple. Try that, guys. Step one, stick hands. Okay, so we do sticky hands, but we also do sticky legs, right? Because we've got monkey foot. But we also you know, we do monkey feet, so we fight with our, our hands and our feet. Sticky leg is a drill to um, really get you to stick to the other person's leg. As they adjust, you're not going to let them go. And it also gets you to sense, start sensing where those uh, pressure points are, where his balance is off and be able to sweep. We start off real simple. Here, and we just roll. We just roll. Feeling where, where Kyle's going, he's feeling where I'm going. Pull over the outside, and Kyle's got to stick with me. He'll change, he'll do something. I'm going to change here. Come on, stick your leg. And we'll roll. It's actually a good, good shin conditioning exercise, too. And Kyle will sense if my balance is here, boom, he can do that, right? I'll sense if Kyle's balance is here, I can do that. <laughs> Don't need your arm. Sticky leg. We'll just roll. Ah, good. Play. Let's right. play. Right. We play. We have fun. We learn. This is how we learn. It's a good shake in the game. <laughs> you cool it up. Come up here. Here. And uh, you actually start working some pukul on there too. Like up here. I can take this, pull it, and keep doing it. But the base level. That position, the Naga position. Pull out. Pull out. So, guys, start here on the inside. Just transition. Don't do a cow that we just do it again, but just try and stick with each other. Follow each other, switch position. Outside, inside. Be outside, inside here. I can turn my Naga here. To the out. Stick it later. Thank you, Jeff. Oh, it ain't recording? No, it turns red. Oh, man. <laughs> that's all right. I thought you knew. Oh, that's the record button? Mm -hmm. Just the record lights blinking. Yes. You ain't a car. <laughs>
One thing you can practice while you're watching television, if your wife, uh, wife or girlfriend or significant other, whoever uh, is okay with it, mine usually gives me a hard time, but she's okay with it, is switching the knife positions. This knife's a little smaller than these two, that's okay. We have our basic, basic grip. This grip here, turn, turn it over. Here, pen grip, push grip. All these different grips on the knife that you can do, you switch, you switch grips here, switch grips here, and you play them. You play them while you're watching TV, while you're looking at the Kunta Sila videos on YouTube, or videos that you've bought in distance learning. Um, and there's a time and a place for changing grips, right? And if Kyle, Kyle comes in, my initial cut is here. One of the ways that uh, to, to train casually while you're watching TV or, or doing whatever you're doing, uh, watching your Kunta Sila distance learning videos on your, on your computer, is, is to practice switching your knife grips um, all the time. You know, we do this, obviously, constant training is critical to what we do. And, uh, you know, you can, you can always do these. So I can start with my basic grip. I have this grip here, this kind of pointer grip, reverse grip. We can change here, here. Here, flip it over here, change again, here, here. All these grips you can do, and there's a time and a place for them, right? So Kyle and I are out here. Yeah, I'm not doing that, because Kyle, Kyle does that to me. He starts, starts switching grips and all that stuff. I'm just going to take his knife and do that and kill him. Sorry, <laughs> Daniel. Damn it, Spock. <laughs> the time and place is that, that comes here. This my grip is here, right? I want, but, but I want to cut, the, cut up this arm, so if you flay up this arm, I really got to change my grip here. And this becomes this here, this grip here. Looks weird, right? Why would we ever use that? You will. Here. And then I might change it to here. And there. So there's a time and a place to change the grips. You know, out here or engage, absolutely not. When we get in, here's how I'm going to change my grip. I might have to slice down and cut. All this here, and that comes here. Boom. And pop back up there. Down here. Slice it down again. Break it down. Like the bigger. <laughs> Slice. So, time and place to change grips. Thank you. That's Thank you, buddy. Thank you, sir. What was it like? Very good. Now, let's talk about time. Okay? So, Kyle has a blade, I have a blade. That's really unfortunate, because ideal knife defense would be this. I have two blades, Kyle has none. <laughs> <laughs> However, that doesn't always happen. So, I'll look at timing. So the first timing is, I don't really know I'm in a, in a, in a fight, right? And I have to slow his timing down. Deal with it, it's a surprise. So he, Boom, up here, right? And now, this might look like I'm blade to blade, but I'm not. I'm cutting his fingers off, which gives me this time, right? So I'm treating the timing by giving way. Oh, right? And I cut, and then we go. And now, even if you practice, he's still holding the blade, that's okay, because this is a knife, and I'm slicing that off. There's no more, no more cutting, and then we can you know, do all of our nice, beautiful technique. Then, there's a timing you always see, right? Where it hits, oh, and I'm here, right? And this is how we practice to get to the timing that works, right? Which is, here, ah! Okay, and again, I don't wait, right? I accelerate the timing. And take 
take it off. All right? Hey, look. I disarmed him by stabbing him. He didn't have to go to the store. He didn't need that. That's mine. So every time you look at this, every time you look at engagement with the blade, I want to look at what's my timing. Was I surprised? So I change the timing, because now you get to enter, right? Oh, thank you. Life is good. Right? We got all our little tricks. We have our I'm good, he's good, and I match my time. Right? Oh look, fingers. Right? And notice the cut is this way. That weight on your shoes. This comes out. And third timing, which is I'm here. I advance the time. Okay? So it's a little play of the same thing, but it gives you a way to look at it, work with it, and be able to defend yourself. Now keep in mind, each has its own strength, each has its own weakness. You know, if he's coming in like, you know, and I'm retreating, I could die. Right? Which is why we bring the fight in. Same thing applies if we're here and I bring the attack, and he knows I'm coming. He stabs me first. He wins, because he met my timing. Right? So what I need is something like, yeah. <laughs> it's all good, you're good. <laughs> right? To take his attention away so I can advance the timing. So this will be a whole longer topic we'll be getting into. If you come visit us at any of Pac Stevens' uh, seminars, um, but it's going to be something to start with. Enjoy it.